Hey guys and welcome back to Storytime with Silver, the series where I talk about interesting stories, facts, more stories though, about what's happened to me uh, when I've been with family, friends, or myself, and yeah. Uh, so today's episode of Storytime with Silver um, is called My 17th Birthday Present Ruined or Slash Disaster. Uh, and you might be wondering like... Did this turn 17 or is this a while ago? No, this is quite recent. Yes, I turned 17 on the 25th of April, uh, 1997, which would make me 17 now because it just the 25th just happened. Uh, I was born and it's yeah, I turned 17 this month uh, recently. And for my birthday, I wanted a tattoo. Uh, it was a grenade heart, like a grenade and a heart infused together. Um, uh, yeah. I was really hot for that. It was uh, it was actually a really nice, uh, freaking sexy picture. And I wanted to anyway. I wanted to get that on my chest because uh, I, I don't know. I want a lot of tattoos, and I was yeah. I was really pumped for that. And I asked mum, and she said it's okay. Yes, you know, because um, some tattoo places you let you get tattoos at the age of seventeen. And yeah, that probably just answered the question like. Whoa, seven a. You can't get this tattoo at seven a. Some places you can, if you have parental uh, permission. And I had mum's, so I was gonna get it, and it wasn't co gonna cost any more than two hundred and forty dollars. So there's that. So basically, the story with this is how this present went to disaster, and you're probably like, no, Silver, you didn't get a tattoo, and it was a disaster and shit. Tattoo, no, mate. I didn't even get a tattoo at all. So, basically, this whole story how it starts. At the start of April, uh, I don't know what day it was, the date, it was around the 15th, no, it was less than that, maybe around the 10th of April. Uh, I was like, I, and way before this, I asked mum, you know, can I get a tattoo, blah, 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 and I rung up, I, I got all my ideas, what I wanted from the tattoo, I rung up, got a quote, and what happened with this quote, what happened, I rung up to get a quote for this tattoo, because I didn't get an answer back on their website, so I was like, okay, don't worry about it. So I just rung up, got a uh, quote, no more, it was bet the, uh, the estimated cost of this tattoo that I wanted on my chest, a grenade heart, was going to be between 150 and no more than 240 And I was like, okay, uh, mum, can you do this? Because I, can't, I couldn't afford it, you know, it's a birthday present, mum was going to pay for it. Um, sounds so, like, such a dick of me, but anyway, so, there's that, and then, uh, I'm like, mum's like, yeah, okay, let's book it, so I booked it, I booked it for the 27th, two days after my birthday, so I was like, okay, that sounds alright, I, I reckon I can do this, and, uh, so I did that, I booked it, and then a couple of days later, after it was booked, on Facebook, the, the post, that didn't get a reply for a quote of the price. I got a reply, and the reply said around four hundred dollars for the same tattoo. I got a quote on the phone. I was like, okay, nah, fuck off. No, this is bullshit. I've been fucked around here. So I rung up two days later, uh, and was like, uh, I got this message on Facebook. What is going on? I booked my tattoo. Uh, blah blah blah. You know all this stuff and. I was like, and then they're like, oh, I don't know what's happened there, and it's like, what no quote did you normally get? And I told them, and then they're like, okay, this doesn't really sound right, I don't know what's happened here, uh, and they said, do you have a booking appointment? I said, yes, I do, this date, under this name and phone number, and I got told there's no booking under that name, phone number, or anything, it wasn't in the book, no one's put it in. So I was like, okay, <laughs> this is fucking bullshit, mate, <laughs> alright, this is bullshit. They, and then they said, I'll call you back Sunday, which is two days or a day or two later, and they'll tell me the actual quote that will be legit this time. So, turns out Sunday, I was like, hi, you know, whatever, and they're like, yeah, don't worry about the quote on Facebook, don't know who the, what that was, who like what happened there, and I don't know what happened with the booking, uh, so we put your name down for that time and stuff anyway, and also the... The price is no go longer going to be, uh, you know, 400 or anything. It's going to be no more than uh, 280. So it goes from no more between 150 to 240 from 
240 to no more than 280. I was like, okay, ugh, fuck this. I just want it done. I want it done. So I'm like, okay, no worries. I don't mind about that. So, that's all dandy. After that, it was, I was, ju it was just a wait until the 27th until I wanted my tattoo. So, comes my birthday, I'm all hyped. Two days later, I'm getting this tattoo. So, the day comes. Uh, the tattoo was booked at 12.30. I was like, alright, I'm going to this tattoo place. I'm going to get a tattoo. This is awesome. This is my birthday present. So, I wake up really early, around about 6 o'clock. I shouldn't have woke up that early, though. Uh, and the tattoo was at 12.30, as I just said. We left, and it's not in town, by the way, so we left town, went to this other town, and we turn up uh, pretty early, actually, and then I'm, I'm just sitting down on the couch, I'm shaking, because I'm like, I was hyped up on sugar so much, and I was, like, kind of freaking out, because I've never gotten a tattoo before, but um, pretty much I was just sitting there, she's about to get ready, uh, the tattooist is about to get ready and tattoo me, and but first she asks how old are you and I'm like yeah I just turned 17 on the 25th she's like oh I'm sorry you gotta be 18 and I'm like what like in my brain I'm like what the fuck like I was told I, I, I specifically when I rung up to book this appointment I asked can I be 17 and have parental permission to get this tattoo uh, and they're like, yes, that is okay. You just need a parent's signature, permission, whatever. So I was like, okay, I, I've got that. And like, all right. But, so, on this day of the, getting the tattoo, sorry, you got to be 18. I was like, um, okay, I was, I rung up this month and I was told that I can be 17 with parental permission. And they're like, no, we changed that a year ago, so I don't know who you talked to. And I was like, I don't remember the name of who told me this, but I'm not bullshitting. Uh, I was told that you could be 17 and uh, with parents permission so like, no sorry it's 18 and then she goes away and then talks to some boss or manager or some bullshit and com and asks him if it's still gonna be possible for me to get it and the answer is no had to be 18 even though that month even though they said they changed it a year ago even though that month I rung up when I booked it to make sure that I could get it I asked if I could be 17 with parental permission and they said yes that time. And when I get here to actually get my tattoo on the day, which is out of town, I get told, no, sorry, you can't get it done. You're not 18. So that was bullshit. I was fucking pissed off. We left town straight away. Mum was like, do you want to go and get lunch in town? We can hang out here. I'm like, no, I want home right now. I want to go home. I'm pissed off. So I didn't talk the whole way home. I was in the car. I was silent as fuck. I was just so pissed off, like, basically, my birthday present has been ruined by a bunch of idiots who basically, when oh, when I wanted a quote, they fucked me around three, twice, three times for a uh, price, and then I should have been like, no, nah, fuck this, I'm going to another place. But I really want, I was determined to get this tattoo. Then, on the actual day of me getting it, two days after my birthday, they have the fucking balls to tell me that I can't get a tattoo, even though I was, they were, because I'm not 18, because, and even though I was told I could if I had permit, uh, parental permission. This was not my fault. I made sure. Every detail I asked questions, I was told yes. So I was pissed off. I was like, fuck this. I could probably, I could have went to another tattoo place, some, probably in town, like a different, completely different one. But I was like, nah. No, I'm I'm done. I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do when I'm 18. I'll go get a tattoo in fucking Melbourne or some shit. If you don't know where I live, I live in Australia, so in Melbourne, whatever. So I'll go to Melbourne. I'll get a tattoo there. Don't even care. I'm never coming back to this place again. And they have the fucking nerve to tell me when I leave. Oh, it's all right. It's not 12 months. is not that far away. Come back next year. I'm like, yeah, I will. Cause I was trying to be nice. I was I was ready to thump someone. I wanted to thump someone right there. But I was pissed the fuck off. So anyway. Um, we left, we get home, we get, or well, we didn't get home, we went in town, I was like, oh, I'll get, oh, we'll go and get lunch, because I was hungry, and, but then I was like, alright, I actually want my birthday present today, so what we, happened, we went to EB Games, if you don't know what EB Games is, it's pretty much a GameStop for America or UK, I'm pretty sure it's called GameStop in the UK, went to EB Games, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get something here, uh, just, you know, for a birthday present because I haven't got one yet because it was ruined. So I was like, yeah, alright, 
Uh, I need a new headset because my Turtle Beach X12s are broken. They lasted me a long time, actually, a couple of years. So I'm like, yeah, I need a new headset. So what I got were a pair of $200 Triton 720 Pluses, which are actually are pretty amazing. Uh, and they feel amazing, like they're sex on the ears, I swear to god. Um, and they're oh, so much comfortable more, that, more than the Tether Beach X12s. And the sound, uh, the sound quality around them is like 3D HD surround sound and it's so amazing, it's so good. I'm just still trying to work out like the settings of everything just to make sure I've got everything like, you know, HD and stuff. But yeah, they're, they're a pretty good headset, $200 for them. Um, and I got them, and I also got Dark Souls 2. And so, yeah, that's pretty much my birthday present for this year. Uh, no tattoo, because I got fucked around. But, nonetheless, I kind of sound like a brat, like, oh, no, I got a $200 headset for gaming and uh, Dark Souls 2, but I'm still upset. Yes, I'm still upset. I wanted a tattoo. I was fucked around so many times. You have no idea. Uh, I think you would be too, but I'm still, I still appreciate what... My mum's done for me and how much she's paid. She paid pretty much $280 today just for my birthday present. Uh, the headset and the um, uh, the headset and Dark Souls 2. So thank you so much, mum, for that. If you're watching this, you probably won't be, but you know, I just want to. I just want everyone to know that I'm appreciative of this. And um, yeah. So guys, that is pretty much story time with Silver. It's been a long one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you actually listened to all of it. And also, uh, leave a comment on, <laughs> I don't know, whatever the fuck you want, uh, leave a like, but also, make sure you leave a comment, if you want to see Dark Souls 2 in a Let's Play, I rage, so I might rage playing this game, it's kind of a half blind playthrough, I don't really know much about the game, so, but if you want to see a playthrough of that, as well as Minecraft, leave a comment below saying yes, or Dark Souls 2 or something like that, and um, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed Storytime with Silver. How I got fucked over with my 70th birthday present, holy fuck. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, my name is Silva, and I will see you guys later with a new story time with Silver and other videos. Yes, I'm going to stop talking. Bye. Yeah.